Hi everyone and thank you for watching this video. So today I'm really excited because I'm going to show you how to use one of our latest exosome isolation column which is named Exospin Mini HD. So for those who don't know cell guidance systems, we have a lot of products and services to support exosome research and we have a large range of exosome isolation column under the name of Exospin. So today I'm going to show you our Exospin Mini HD which will be shipped in these kind of boxes. Uh, we have different kit size, so we have a trial size of 5 columns, but it can go also to 20 and 100 columns. And with these kits, you will also receive the user guides. So please read it really carefully, because there is a lot of information regarding your sample type and what we should do if you use blood samples or cell culture media, etc. So please read it carefully. So as I said today, I'm going to show you how to use our Exospin Mini HD. So they are gravity-based columns, so this means that you will not need any uh, specific material. All you need to have is a clamp stand uh, because the whole protocol will be under gravity. So we'll first start to pipette out the preservative buffer. And then I will... Um, so you pipette it out. And I will put 2.5 ml of PBS and then I will need to do that um, three times to make sure that um, there is no um, to make sure that there is no buffer left in the in the matrix so you can put it like that and staying in the clamp and then what you can do at this stage is to open the plug and then your column will start uh, to elute drop by drop and you will need to do this step three times to make sure as I said that all the preservative buffer will be watch, uh, washed uh, from the column and now the column is ready to receive your sample so the volume on top of the column can be from 100 microliter to 150 um, so today I'm going to use 100 microliter and I'm going to use a dye solution instead of your sample um, because it's a nice way to see how size exclusion chromatography works and then it can give you an idea of uh, kind of the journey uh, that your exosome uh, will have inside of the matrix. So as I said, I'm going to use a dye solution and I'm going to use 100 microliter uh, to pipette on top of the column. And then I will collect uh, 24 fraction. And so in the protocol, it says first to put your sample and then you need uh, to wait until your sample goes inside of the matrix. So it takes a few seconds. So here we're almost over um, and you see straight away because your sample will be on the other side of the fret. And now I'm gonna add uh, 100 microliter of PBS for a final volume of 200. And I'm going to start to collect uh, my fraction number one. So as I said, I'm going to collect 24 fraction of uh, 200 microliter. So it means that for each between each fraction, I'm going to add 200 microliter of PBS. So you will see in the user guide that the exosomes will elute in fraction 6 and 7. Um, so at this stage you can either pull together fraction 6 and 7 and then do uh, all other downstream analysis that you want. Uh, or you can either take all 24 fractions and then do further analysis. So if you want a complete fractionation profile, for example, uh, you can do NTA and Bradford SA on all of the fraction, and then you will see exactly on which fraction your exosomes elute, and in which fraction the protein uh, will elute as well. Uh, you will see this kind of figure in our website, in the Exospin Mini HD uh, website page, um, but you can of course uh, do it uh, in-house as well. 
So I hope that you enjoyed uh, this video as much as I did. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free either to contact us in our online chat straight away or you can send an email at uh, info at and we will be happy to answer. Thank you very much and have a nice rest of the day.